Hello. I am very pregnant. As you can see, I'm wearing my maternity clothing because... Oh my goodness. My belly. You're so pregnant. <laughs> You're so pregnante. I'm so pregnante. Oh my gosh, if you guys haven't seen this video, you have to watch it. It's like two minutes long. I'll link it here because it's so hilarious. Around my belly button, I am 33 inch. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm very large. Let's see my ribs. Around my ribs, I'm 29 inches. Also, let's talk about my breasts. Cause they've grown like a full cup size. 33, I have this really weird relationship. Pregnancy and what happens to my breasts for breastfeeding the baby. Before I was pregnant, I was around a B cup. Whenever I get pregnant, this happened for both Galahad and Zeke, so I'm interested to see what will happen to me. Hopefully the same pattern won't happen because I don't really like it. When I'm pregnant, I go up to a C cup. When I am breastfeeding, because I have hyperlactation, it's a condition that you produce a lot, a lot extra excess milk, I go up to a D cup. But then after I'm done breastfeeding the, the baby, and the baby weans off, which means they don't drink the breast milk anymore, I deflate <laughs> to like negative A. <laughs> I become like a double A. Like it's really, really, it's just skin left. They become like empty milk bags. Hopefully like I can incorporate some holistic methods to um, make sure my fat doesn't drain out because I feel like my hyperlactation, maybe it like melts my fat and then the baby drinks all my fat and then like I have no more fat left or something. I'm not really sure. I read something about saturated fats and trans fats. Like you need saturated fats to, in your breasts or something. I think right now they're about pre-pregnancy size. I think they'll keep growing until I finish breastfeeding. Hopefully they won't become empty milk bags. Let's take a moment to pray. <laughs> pray for Nami's bust. <laughs> because it's it hurts when like all of my fat gets drained from breastfeeding. Anyway, my nausea got better as you can see from my energy levels. I've been doing acupuncture for about a month now, consistently multiple times a week, between two to three times a week. My acupuncture was saying how my night shift was really affecting my cycle and also the gravel that I was taking three times a day was also giving me side effects. So she had to treat those side effects first from all of the off balance stuff in my body before she could actually treat my nausea. So now I'm at a state where I am just experiencing regular pregnancy symptoms. For the last three months from when I was one month pregnant all the way until I was four months pregnant, for three months straight, every moment I was suffering because something was just really wrong with my body. I think it also had to do with um, anxiety that I was experiencing during that three month period and a lot of harassment that I was undergoing so I think that like my mental state was also affecting my body and also my night shifts and my um, poor eating and my medicine intake so now I'm a lot better but I still experience difficulty with eating um, I'm really averted to foods that are like stinky or oily and I have more urges to throw up than I did before but I haven't vomited since the last time that I did in the vlog two weeks ago. I'm starting to feel like really big, especially after I eat. And after every like two, three hours, I get hungry again. And I can't eat that much because there's not much space in my organs because the baby's squashing all the space. I feel like hungry all the time. Oh, this week I started feeling the baby kicking. I think it was about two or three days ago. Right now it's February 5th, so it's the first week of February and I'm 17 weeks, so it's a week over the four month period. I didn't do a three month pregnancy update because I was just so unbelievably sick. I couldn't film like at all. I was, I just couldn't do it. So there was no three month update, but I think it works out because my two month update was uploaded a month later. And so we skipped the three months. This is the four month update plus one week. We're almost halfway. One more month and we'll be halfway. We're having our baby gender obstetritional ultrasound for 
all of the baby's organs, all of the baby's muscles and bones, just making sure the development is good. And we're gonna look at the baby's gender as well at that time. I wanna celebrate with you and I want to document this process in a, in a fun way as well. So yeah, we do wanna share a gender reveal video. That's gonna be in two weeks from today that I'm filming this. I don't know when this video will be up, but two weeks will go by really fast, of course. I haven't been bleaching because I can't. I'm going to try to switch my hair color. I'm just gonna probably work with pastels so that they wash out faster. Talk about your foot pain and the size of the oh baby. Oh my gosh, so right now the baby is bigger than a pear. It's one week bigger than this. One week bigger than that? Isn't it weird? It's so big but so small in my belly. That's kind of funny. Right now it's, it's in between my belly button and my belly button's sticking out already. My belly button and my C-section so because of the extra weight, um, my feet and my legs have been aching and that's something that I saw on my Baby Center app, which I highly recommend for um, any friends or family that are pregnant or if you are tracking your pregnancy yourself, you can track it week by week by your last pregnancy date and it has helpful tips like what you should do if your belly's too itchy, how your baby's growing this week, the size of your baby, and how food travels to your baby, like it, good information like this. There's a lot of cool stuff on this app. It's called Baby Center. Thank you for all of your well wishes for my sickness. Um, it's been definitely getting better. I'm, I'm finally like, I feel like I'm kind of stable now. I just have to watch what I eat and watch what I smell and make sure I don't throw up or induce vomiting. If you are new to our channel, welcome. If you would like to follow us on this pregnancy journey, and also watch our other videos because we have a variety of content definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification as well bye what are you doing <laughs>